Greetings, Earthlings. My name is Zero Jake, and welcome back to Space Engineers. Uh, last we left off, we had constructed a recon ship. Now, what I had uh, done is I took it for a flight, and then on the return, I busted it up a bit. Um, I forgot how to land. Well, more that this thing doesn't really land that particularly fast, and I was trying to go a bit faster than I should have. So there's a bit of damage, uh, but I've done some some changes. Uh, we've replaced the front five ion thrusters with this larger one, and we've replaced the ion thrusters at the back with two large ones as well, which should mean that they will go plenty fast. Um, we did also lose the uh, hydrogen tanks, but the patchwork that I've done here means that it is operational. Um, but for now, we're not going to utilize it until I finish the run. Um, yes, in addition, I have done some things between last episode and this one. Uh, you may see that this area is a bit more flat. Uh, I flanned it out with the mining ship so that it's uh, it, it's less of a jut. And I've also done some measuring and some calculations. Uh, here, right, we have, a, we, we have a sign here telling us the uh, width and height of this... Uh, Button, uh, of this crater. Now you, you may notice that it's not exactly in a central position um, but that's because the numbers are pointing towards um, at what point it stops being the same level. Now we can influence this. In fact we probably are going to at some point. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to start from this point. This point here because it's a bit further upwards uh, mainly because this ridge here is lower down than this ridge here, or rather it's more shallow and so therefore uh, more of this area is going to be um, mined out at some point. So we're going to treat this block here as the center of our base. Center of the asteroid. Now, uh, center of the crater. Now you may suggest why our base is over here, but that's because I don't have any foresight whatsoever. So instead, uh, we're just going to start from here and we're going to make an ordered system and we're going to set things up properly and it's all going to look lovely later. But now, um, well, I, I've received some, uh, some threats of someone grabbing my entire base and mining it out and sending it into orbit for no reason or grinding it all down and putting it in a cargo container. And whilst those threats are hilarious, um, I'm taking no chances. So today we are going to be building some defenses, to say the least. Uh, now I've done some scouting, and by scouting I mean measuring. Don't I love to measure? Uh, and we have, well, I've, I've worked out a, uh, a system that allows us to shoot incoming vessels before they enter the crater. Because if we're inside the crater and we're shooting out of it, we don't really have that much purchase for um, ships coming in from the low ground so we don't really have a good way to shoot ships that are sticking close to the terrain or shooting uh, ground vehicles at all it's not preferable um, but what we can do is we can start placing uh, towers along the crater itself uh, the crater ridge so that we can shoot things down now this is why this block is here. This is telling me that this is where we want our first defense station. Uh, the reason being is because it's on the highest point of the uh, crater. Well, the highest point. Uh, that point might be higher. That point's probably higher. Um, maybe that point is a bit higher, but we can excavate that out. So we're going to build up a, a, little, a little tower, a little bunker. We're going to place some uh, turrets on it. Um, the idea being that we will then link it up using the conveyor system. I'm just going to uh, slide down. Let's see if this kills. Oh. Uh, we're going to slide down and using a uh, conveyor system, which is going to be centralized, but it's going to be following geometric patterns and everything. Uh, we're going to keep it automatically stopped from the base. That's quite the distance. We don't have the resources to... Uh, do that without it hemorrhaging my bank account so instead we're going to uh, just set it up with a cargo container with some resources uh, with some ammo rather and uh, just have the turrets 
do their thing until we can hook it up properly. Sound good? Yeah, sure. Uh, and then once we've set this up, we can then go ahead and set the others up because I'll be able to work out the correct distance from the center and then I can work out where I want to place the other towers. All's good. So, first things first. I'm going to need some more steel. Grab some steel. Uh, and we're going to start building up this little platform. Yeah, that. Right. Uh, if I do gravity align. So here's, here's, here's what I'm planning. Okay. So we've got a three by three area. Now we have two different types of turrets. Three different types of turrets. We have um, the Gatling turret, which uses Gatling ammo. Uh, the missile turret, that uses missiles. And the interior turret, which is rubbish. Because um, we want to be able to shoot down grids, not people. That's for people. Uh, we'll have a couple of those spread out um, in the base yeah. itself. And for some reason, my energy management is terrible. So we're going to go grab Gatling turret and missile turret. Um, now, you may notice that they take up a 3x3 three three footprint on the floor. Except this... Ooh, hang on. Oh yeah, small grid missile turret, yeah. Uh, so they take up a 3x3 three three area. Um, now, we have a couple of ways that we can do this, right? We can either, and this is just doing the footprint, we'll, we'll make it look better later. I should be adding uh, quarter blocks on here. Is that we can have four turrets in this kind of pattern. So, for example, we can have a Gatling and a Gatling. Or we can go four Gatlings or three Gatlings and a missile or whatever. Um... Uh, three Gatlings and a missile, rather, or we can go two Gatlings, two missile. Um, really depends on how much magnesium I want to spend on ammo, because missiles are missiles take a bit, but they also do more damage. So we can, you know, place down. That's a Gatling turret. I wanted to place there. Right. Um, so what we're going to do, you know, we 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 can place whatever combination we like. Uh, we're going to need to. I'm also going to need an interior plate. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Right. Let's, uh... Go grab some energy. Thank you. Apparently oxygen is low. Oh, right. Okay. Room pressure's not stabilizing because this is taking out oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to grab some interior plate as well. In the red plate. Um, fly up there. Okay. Right, so we got our, we got ourselves a lovely little platform here. Uh, we can then get rid of the center blocks here and place down conveyors so that they're all hooked up to a conveyor network. So. And then we can place turrets on top and the turrets will be able to do their thing. Excellent. And then what we want is we want conveyor connections between the... Um, between each of these that hook up to a cargo container in the center. Right. Grab a cargo container, place a cargo container, all good, right? Placing a cargo container here, that's what we want. So, what I'm going to do first... Do I want to do this? Or... Oh, okay, so for, for making this easier, instead of digging, uh, we're just going to place... Uh, we're going to place it a layer above. And then we can mine out the layer below and uh, use this layer as our um, this layer as our conveyor layer and this layer as the base layer. Right? Um, okay. Yes. That. Conveyor, 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 conveyor. And then we want conveyor down here. 
we want a conveyor in the center and then we want another conveyor here and we want the conveyor to link up here and here um for the sake of welding things up i'm not gonna uh, finish this until I've welded it um, and then on the other side we can do exactly the same this means that all four uh, turrets are linked on the same conveyor network and then we can place our lovely cargo container here and then that means that we also have a central location that we just need to link it up with the base and then it will automatically restock sound good yeah okay uh, I'm gonna weld up the conveyors and we'll be back in a second Okay, so, conveyor system is up and running. Um, if we just check here, we can see that this is not part of the base grid, so it's uh, its own separate grid, which is, you know, not particularly useful because we want to be able to use the power from the base. So I'll have to run a line of armor blocks up here just so that that can happen. Um, but for now, for now, we can continue building the rest. Um, now we are going to be using light armor blocks, even though we should be using heavy armor blocks. Um, I'm going to upgrade to heavy at some point, but light armor is just much easier to build at this point in time. You know, because you have a look at that's not high spell heavy. If you have a look at the cost for a heavy, it's 150 steel plate and 50 metal grid as opposed to 25 steel plate. And I don't have the iron to throw away at that at the moment. So we're just going to be building the regular kind. Uh, right. So first things first. Um, we're going to have a look at what the view range on these outward facing uh, turrets are. The inward facing turrets don't necessarily need to shoot in this direction. They need to be able to shoot upwards and also not totally inwards. We want there to be a blind spot of the ground because we'll have our own interior turrets for that. But anything up here is fair game. Um, so right now, right now, uh, if we stand here and say we had a gun, um, which I don't, uh, we can have a look and we can see that down here, right, down here, uh, is a blind spot for this uh, defense, right? Now what we can do, we can get rid of this. Right. We can get we, we can get rid of this and we'll do the same over here later. And I'm gonna stand here whilst doing it. Uh we can get ourselves these. Uh we can use our two by one uh by one slopes. Uh get the correct thing to here. Not that. It's not that either. We don't have one. That's annoying. Yeah, that is really annoying. Why? Um, okay, well, is there a way that I can make it look better? Maybe? Right. I don't know. I, I, I feel like uh, I'm going to be unfulfilled with this creation of mine. Um, because the vanilla game does not have enough armor box. Unless, does it have, no, it only has those, uh, let's have a look. Well, I've got round corners. Yeah, but round isn't what I'm looking for. Hmm. Um, yes, yeah, so we do that. Um, right, so how's that fair? So we can look down here which significantly reduces the, uh, the failure, uh, the um, blind blind spot. Or we could just do the regular, um, uh, regular armor. So. But I think that in general offers less protection. Ooh. No, wait, I've got a better idea. Let me grab. Because this, I'm sure, works properly. Right, so we've got a much steeper slope. But we've still got some room, uh, room to move around. And noting that this thing is going to not be at our height, but here, it means that most of this area is covered. And then we also have 
Right, let's look for this. See, now that's that's gonna make me happy. In terms of Yeah. So we can then uh, replicate it on the other sides. How about I go around properly? Because uh, my muscle memory is on the delete key, which is why I'm rotating in this direction rather than the other. Uh, right. You and then. Right. So if we have our fortification like this, that looks decent. Okay. Um, and then we're going to need to hide these. Oh, I didn't want that. I'm an idiot. I didn't want that. If you've been yelling at me for the. Deal, why don't we have small? That's my question. Got some small steel for me. Row. You. Yes. Just checking to see if uh, I didn't bring enough. Did I check to see? No, I didn't. Of course I didn't. Why? Why would I? I checked. Why would I do the reasonable thing and check to see if I've got all the components ready? stupid. Right. Well, yeah, because I withdrew all the construction components. I need to automate the construction of components. No, that's still not enough. There we go. Right. Uh, yeah, I need to automate the construction of the components. That is a soon-to-happen um, deal, which requires me building multiple assemblers. No, no, it, it just requires me having a dedicated area for assembly, uh, for assembly. Right, okay. Back on to the subject at hand. Okay, so there, there are a couple of ways that we can do this, right? We can have another light armor block, which means that there's a 5x5 five five walkable area. Well, despite the fact that there's a turret in the light armor. Um, right. And then we can have this reduced a bit. Um, following a, and now we're doing a half block, which does mean that there is a structural weakness to this thing, but I don't care. Um, I suppose I should. I suppose I should care at some point. Uh, well, it's not like I'm going to be standing here when I'm under attack. I'm going to be in a ship flying away. Okay, we place like that. And then don't worry, uh, in but a moment, we'll be able to see the, uh, the completed product when I uh, say to myself in grandiose fashion uh, we'll be back in a second once I've welded all of these armor blocks up and here we go we have ourselves a uh, fully con well a constructed slab I'd say um, I extended the armor blocks down I welded the ones on the conveyor layer just in case that gets hit um, but yeah, uh, eek, look, looks nice. Uh, we are going to have to colour it, though really we don't have to. Um, because we are supposed to be camouflaged-ish. Uh, it's the same reason why we're not putting lights on it, because why would you put lights on the wall? Unless you're trying to see out, but if you're trying to... But these things have auto-aim, they don't care if it's light or dark. Um, anyway, anyway... Uh, it's now time for us to place some turrets. Um, I've also linked up the uh, the bunker, the redoubt, the tower. Not a tower. Not a bunker, you can't be inside it. 
Uh, I, I've linked up the platform to uh, our base using a very long line of steel. Um, and we can use that to work out how uh, exactly where we placed it. So we can place it on the other, uh, we can place this on the other side, work out where we actually want the center to be, and then work out where we need to place the towers on both sides. And then once we've got that, we can just make a circle of these towers. Um, and then we have pretty good coverage over the entire crater. Well, we already have good coverage over the entire crater because these guns, these these lovely guns here, they can fire, um, what is it, a thousand? Uh, yeah, they can fire up to a kilometer away. Right, so first things first, we're going to place the turrets. And we're going to place them in such a way that their control panels are accessible. Yes. Uh, we're also only going to be sticking with Gatling turrets for now. Uh, for missile turrets are not required unless someone brings in something beefy. Uh, but these Gatling turrets should dissuade them from attacking unless they're trying to attack. We'll upgrade to missile turrets in like 10 minutes. Uh, well, 10 minutes after uh, I finish this episode, but whatever. So we're going to need to grab ourselves the materials required, which is also known as the build planner. Uh, which instead of doing that, you can right click on something and it will add all of the components yet to be added to the build planner. Right, so we can do that with each one or we could do it on the same one four times. We can then fly down. We can then uh, chuck in our components. We can then add um, the components to the production queue, which I don't think I messed up. Yeah, it's only got four instances, that's fine. Uh, and then we can just grab as many components as uh, we can carry and then start building these up. Right. Down again. Uh, and then also we're going to need to grab uh, some Gatling out. Uh, missing some components and some components probably because we uh, need to manufacture them uh, so that's gonna that's gonna be a bit so we can uh, start manufacturing some more I am going to increase the number of assemblers we have because we need more even if it's just using the build planner at the moment because at some point I want to upgrade into um, having them automatically produce all the items I need um, which is to do with the Inventory Management Script um, Tim that we've currently got, the Paladin Inventory Manager, um, which means that they will build up to the quotas, so we want some screens that allow us to set the quotas. Also, every time I appear on the server, these these two seem to reset their um, offset so that the numbers are clipping off. It's not the best. Right, there we go. And then we also want, let's say, a hundred. NATO. A hundred should be fine. That's twenty-five. Uh, can, that's twenty-five uh, magazines uh, per. All right. Now I don't think these turrets are targeting anything in particular yet, but that's probably because uh, yeah, they're not targeting. Anything. But look, we have turrets. We have base defenses now. Um, now we could do some additional work to uh, give these turrets some uh, protection, but I don't see that as necessary at the moment. Mainly because, well, nothing's shooting at them, we're just using these to shoot at them. Uh, right, so if we have a look. Right. Which way is north? Okay, so uh, th that turret section, uh, this, All right, we place ourselves in a this kind of pattern. Well, really, so we're trying to find out which pole we're uh, working with. So if we do that, that means that this is the this is the up down orientation, right? This is up down. North Pole, South Pole. 
It means we're very close to the South Pole because we're idiots. Um, and then that's the South Pole, which means approaching from this side, this side of the crater is the South Pole. And then this is the North. So this will be, uh, hang on, let's go back here. Um, And then we can grab all of these. North. Um, which means that we've now got turrets north here. Um, this means that we can set up the aiming radii of our different turrets um, however we want. Uh, we're going to set it to 600 at the moment. I believe I. I make you show on hard it means I can fly over to the other side of the crater except you're not doing that oh yeah because we don't have an antenna do we yeah because I'm sensible and we don't have an antenna so I can't do that okay uh, in which case I'll just drop a new current position fly backwards This crater is about 400 meters, 500 meters um, diameter, which means that we've still got plenty of room for firing. It means that out here, you can be shot by this turret, right? So if we place another one here, it's uh, better coverage, and then place another one at the other Cartesian, uh, the other, the Cartesian, probably, uh, coordinates, then we've got decent enough coverage that nobody can really sneak up. Um, it also means the ships that are... Actually, I should be able to get a spear, right? There should be a way. Good work there. Well, at least you didn't kill yourself. Um, turn that off. There should be... Well, we can show uh, sensors uh antenna and pivot points of each grid we're not showing center mass at the moment um uh, show the distance for friendly antenna right yeah i don't think we can okay uh so we can go uh visualize range of nearby antenna which don't exist um Sensors field, we don't have sensors. Gravity range, we don't use gravity. Um, grip pivot, yeah, n none of those features use. Okay. Uh, and then if we, for example, we can't control them as we're in a seat. Yeah, I need to be in a control seat and we don't have one on the base. Uh, right, let's go grab some ammo. I'm going to grab some ammo and then we're going to set up the uh, the shooting parameters. It's always the fun part. Right, where, where are we? Where's the ammo? Energy low. Why are you not making any more ammo? It's rare of magnesium. Uh, yeah, I'd probably say that we're ever, uh, out of magnesium so we can't really produce any. Um, also, the Gatling ammo isn't being taken. Hang on. Stupid. Um, the, ammo, uh, the ammo isn't taken because we don't have anything asking for it. So our main container isn't asking for any of the ammo or anything like that. So we may want to set up another container that does the rest of the stuff that this one won't. Or, you know, we could not. Right, let's... Yeah, so 18 Gatling rounds should be good enough. Or rather, 18 Gatling uh, containers. Right, they will automatically disperse themselves into the Gatling turrets themselves, leaving us with a surplus of, you know, one turret has an additional uh, magazine. This one is. This is uh, turret and one. Yeah. Uh, so this turret. We, hmm, 
Okay, we're going to quickly build a control station for ourselves. There. Build this thing. Go grab. Unless. Okay, six left. Six left. Energy critical. All completed. Yeah, I'm gonna sit in a station for a bit. The energy's gonna be fine. Okay, um, let's close that for a second. Go on here that you're not supposed to be. Uh, you guys aren't supposed to be either. You hydrogen tank, small reactor, small reactor, programmable block, oxygen tank, O2 generator. Yeah, this seems good. Okay, uh, turret N1. Oh. All right, so as you can see, we've got a decent amount of view range on this turret. Uh, this turret can see up to the crate, uh, up to the uh, crater's lip, uh, and we can also see a lot of space. Good, and then we can fire. Oh, you can just barely hear the sound of the Gatling going off. Because we're not in an atmosphere, that's fun. Okay. Um, That's good. Right. Um, and then, of course, I need to go grab some magnesium so that we can do that properly. And then the last thing that we need to do is set up the shooting parameters. Okay. Yeah, we want idle movement. Um, they'll target meteors even though we don't have them. They'll... Do we want them to target missiles? Uh, sure, you'll target missiles. Target small and large and characters and stations. Well, they won't be placing any stations, but we might need to shoot them anyway. And we're going to, because we don't, okay, so we, we are zero protocol, right? They, these guys exist as well, and they are somewhat tricksy, so they may just turn up uh, at the base, because, you know, you can look at the uh, GPS location of my base here. You know, for example, hey, this is my base site. Look at the coordinates. Copy and paste them into your world. People have done that to me before, and uh, this time I'm setting up turrets to deal with them now. So, target neutrals. Basically, anyone not in my faction gets shot by my turrets. Or anyone not allied with my faction. So, you know, if we decided to go, hey, I want to ally with you. You know, clicking here and going accept peace and then accept ally um that'll be fine but no deliberately not allying myself because otherwise the game is boring anyway uh so that's that i will probably build the other uh tower on the other end between episodes just so that we have better coverage um next what we'll be doing is setting up a base layout like an official one uh probably also going what well, Oh, they've been here already. And they're also immature as hell. Um, so. Stupid. Uh, yeah, so we're going to start doing some base layout. Um, I'm going to locate the center properly, where, where we want the center. And then we're going to move the solar panel so that it's on top of the center for now. We'll probably make it into a different location later. And then we'll start laying out rings of um, uh, location. So we'll have uh, an inner ring of conveyors, an outer ring of conveyors, and some struts going off so that they can connect up. And then we'll start designating areas for certain projects. Um, the center is probably going to be a, um, a launch pad, and everything on the outside is going to be production facilities. 
But until then, my name has been Zero Jake. End transmission. <laughs>